Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Thought I'd do a video today on my little tool and cutter grinder. Now, there's been a bit of interest on this and uh, I've noticed in previous videos in the comments, a uh, few of you out there have asked about it, what it is and that sort of thing. So, long story short, this is a Taiwanese made BM450A. Now, I'm not sure of the year, it could be around the 1980s or maybe 90s, I'm unsure, I'd probably air towards the 1980s. It was branded Herless. Now, these were made in Taiwan, but they were sold all over the world and branded. Uh, many companies put their own branding on it, okay? Now, I got it off a mate of mine, and uh, Anthony, if you're watching, thank you. Um, Anthony gave me a good deal on it, and um, now, it, it, Anthony had it set outside for a while. He was in a small place, and he just he was inundated with machinery, so he threw a tarp over it, and unfortunately, got a bit of surface rust, and it got a little bit worse for weather. Probably why I got it at such a good buy. <laughs> so, um, I had it. I sat on it for probably a year before I did anything with it, and then um, I got prompted into action to uh, extract the finger and get onto it and get it done. Now, I didn't really restore it. Okay, the, what we call over here a Dulux restoration, which is pretty much a strip and paint, and I didn't really strip it. I gave it a good wash down and gave it a paint. Uh, up close, it's a bit ugly. Uh, some of the bog needs redoing. Uh, the putty, the putty's broken. You know, typical. Taiwanese sort of Chinese machines, they fill them up with bog in the castings and of course that's the first thing that chips away when you're working. But look, overall it's a great little unit. Now unfortunately when I got it, it's lacking a lot of stuff. So it's lacking the wheel guard, so there should have been a wheel guard here and a wheel guard over here. Furthermore, it's lacking some of the little items. So here are the accessories I got with the tool and cutter grinder. Obviously I've got a, you know, an old wheel. Here, it would be good to use this face when I'm grinding. Um, it looks like they've cut sick on this face here and it's a bit chipped here and there, so I need to be careful. Probably probably explode on me when I use it. Um, the other side of the wheel, uh, at the moment mine's got the wrong wheel on it and that's why that is off it. Obviously a couple of spaces, some sort of T, big long T-nut. This is interesting and uh, so this is a diamond disc, so we've got the industrial diamond on the outside there. I forget the proper name of this, but I'll put it up on the screen. Um, and I'm, I intend to use this to make some uh, precision ground stones down the track. Me and another friend of mine, Greg, who sold me the mill, we've got some interest in making some precision ground stones. Um, the finger. We've got the tailstock, and I've got this tool holder here but it's missing the post that attaches to it, okay, for grinding in, in different, you know, in different angles. So that's what I've been making today. You can see here, I only had some round stock and what I'll do from what I've done with the round stock, I've machined it square. I've marked here where I need to drill and bore and that will be 35 mil diameter. And that will be for this boss here to go into, okay. Um, this will be threaded through the other side. Then I also, the round piece that I'll show you now, it will attach on the bottom and clamp down to the bed. So I'll need to make a pocket on this side that you can fit a nut on to pull it down on top of the stud. And that's where I've got it. And that's quite a, you know, this is all scrap that my neighbor Gavin gave me. So thank you, Gavin. Um, and that's where I'm up to with that. So I finished machining for the day and this is currently where I'm up to with that other piece of steel. And uh, I've pre-drilled that ready for a half inch 13 uh, tap. Um, I need to st still do some more work to this, um, especially I need to actually machine down some grooving in here. And this will have a taper, okay, which will go up to the top, which will mount my my tool post uh, block, the block of steel that I machined. So that will be finished up next week, hopefully. Um, Anthony also threw in this old magnetic chuck, which has come good. It's, um, I've used it quite a few times. You've probably seen it before in some of my other videos. So what do I want to do with this? So what sparked my interest was watching Max the other night and uh, Max was playing around on his tool and cutter grinder, uh, grinding up some tool steel and that sort of stuff. And, that's what sparked my interest. I think it's time now that I get mine working and start grinding some tools. 
So what am I planning to do? So I want to make myself a tool post which will hold my grinding uh, tool attachment so I can hold various you know, high speed steel and stuff like that to do my own grinding. And uh, where I came unstuck was recently when I was machining nylon. As you know, I'm a fan of carbide and like most uh, previous CNC guys, that's all we really use is carbide tooling. Um, but on a manual lathe, the old high speed steel does come in handy. And, and I know if uh, Peter Pilman, if you're watching, you're probably shaking your head at me now. So I told you that 20 years ago. <laughs> but yeah, look, when I was machining nylon, first thing I picked up was a piece of high speed steel. And of course, I just did some offhand grinding and tickled it up and, and got it working. Uh, however, it'd be nice if I had the tool and cutter grinder to do it. And I think it'd, it'd make for better viewing in future videos as well. What colour is it, you're probably going to ask. So, yes, you can see that I, I've got a love of uh, vintage tractors. I painted it the John Deere colour. So John Deere green, John Deere yellow. Uh, in hindsight now, I should have painted it the Hurless green, which is a different shade of green. Uh, and you probably noticed that's a different colour, the same colour that I painted the shop trolley. Okay. So anyway, it's uh, I've got some projects coming up that I want to use this on. Like I was saying previously, I want to do some precision ground stones with Greg, my mate Greg, um, my good buddy Mike uh, Michael O'Connor up there. He's um, already making some of his own precision ground stones, and I think that'd be a good little you know job to do. And of course, grind some tool steel and that sort of stuff as well. Alrighty, and but to grind it precisionally, not offhand grinding. You know. Anyway, look, that concludes today's video. I'll see you next week where I'll continue on with the tool post build and, and hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you got something out of it. Uh, in the meantime, guys, stay safe, be well, look after one another, and I'll get out to your workshop and make something. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. What do you got? Show me. What do you got? You little bastard. <laughs>